Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, I hope I don't look too jaundiced. I just got done from taking back from taking the dogs for a walk. I got this at um, Walmart. It was like seven dollars eight. It was under ten dollars. It's a nice fleece um, pullover, and it's nice and bright, which is what I like when I'm out walking them. I want to be visible. So I have my first birch box. So my daughter and her husband um, sent me this for Christmas. And uh, she, she said she wanted to get me some kind of a crafting subscription box, but she couldn't find any that hadn't gone out of business. So this is my first birch box. I haven't opened it. Oh, no. Hello, is that weird? I just took this out of the outer box. Crazy. So I haven't even looked inside. I have no idea what's in it, but I really do like this box. I'll probably keep that and use it as another, as a gift box for someone. Okay, so this is what's here on top. $10. This card is worth $10 in the Birch Box shop. Spend $35 on the Best in Beauty and enter uh, this code and I get $10 off so I don't know maybe you've been gifted a birch box subscription we hope you love testing out your new goodies and I did fill out my um, profile so ooh, looks like there's some nice goodies in here so it has the same color tissue paper as my fleece pullover so this here is a beautiful pillow box. I'm not sure what's in it. I can use this for uh, crafting. I can cover it. Okay, Catherine Melandrino, uh, Romance de Provence, a sample that just fell in the box. So. It's a 0 0.06 fluid ounces. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. It reminds me of something I already have. What does it remind me of? I don't know, but I like it a lot. Okay. Catherine Malandrino, Romance de Provence, de Provence. Whatever that means, I don't know French. Then I got a Dr. Lip Miracle Balm for dry skin, luscious lips, and glossy bits. A true multi-action must-have for wherever you go. Use every day. So, I think my hands need some of this. It is 0 0.1 fluid ounces or three milliliters. And it's in a cute hot pink tube. And Ooh, that's thick stuff. So it has uh, a consistency of uh, petroleum jelly. Hopefully it doesn't have any mineral oil in it. But um, tasteless, odorless, and so kissable. So that's what it looks like on my hand. I don't know what's in it doesn't say on here. Okay, next item is Ico London Fat Liquid Black Eyeliner. Looks like a full size. So I will, I will give it a try. It's 3.5 grams or 0.12 ounces. Ico London. Um, I'll give it a try. If it doesn't work, I'll send it to my daughter because I'm sending her some other things. So that's a nice gift. Uh, the soap and paper factory, is that what it says? I have my little cheat sheet here. Soap and paper factory, shea butter, hand cream, green tea, full size. Re oh, I should tell you the retail value. So a full size of this is $18 and 
guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to delete uh, my other videos off up here. So, okay, I'm going to go back and tell you what the prices of all these are. The Catherine Malandrino Roman, Romance de Provence, full size is $65 to $110. The description is top notes of pear and black currant are complemented with a romantic blend of jasmine, rose, violet, and vanilla. Uh, the Ico Fat Liquid Eyeliner, full size, $16. Silky Smooth Liquid Liner that makes cat eyes a breeze, even for beginners. The Dr. Lip Miracle Balm, full size, is $17. This ultra hydrating healing balm does it all, repairs lips, smooths rough skin, heals cuticles, and so much more. And then I was starting to talk about the Soap and Paper Factory. Shea Butter Hand Cream Green Tea, full size, is $18. A rich, moisture, rich cream moisturizer that soothes even the driest of hands and a fresh, gentle green tea scent. So let's try this out. This will be nice for my purse because, well, you can see. Um, I cleaned the kitchen today. My husband's a wonderful cook, but he isn't so neat and clean in the kitchen. So I waited for him and Tony to go to Alaska. And this morning I got up and I had a poopy surprise on the floor, a couple of them from poor Juno. Ooh, this does smell nice. It's a nice citrusy almost smell. It's supposed to be green tea. Very nice. Very rich. Um, so I got up and I had a couple of poopy surprises on the floor from poor Juno. And so I cleaned the kitchen. I mopped the floors. So my hands are, did the dishes. So my hands are a mess. For some reason, I hate putting hand lotion on. I don't know why. I'm weird that way. Maybe because working in the salon, it was just, and in healthcare, when I worked in healthcare and in the salon, every time you put something on your hands, you're washing it off, so. Okay, and then the final product is Beauty Protector, Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. And I guess that's the brand, is Beauty Protector. Uh, full size is $22, best selling leave-in that locks in color, protects strands from heat damage, and adds silkiness. So, that is the container, and that is, I don't know how much it is. It doesn't tell me how much is in here. Looks like an ounce, maybe. It's a leave-in conditioner, so that's nice, because the ends of my hair... It's just a pain to comb through. So that was my first birch box. So I'm really excited to try these. And as I said, if the eyeliner doesn't work for me because my eyes are sensitive, blah, blah, blah. You've heard it all before if you've been with me for any amount of time. The Suzanne Summers fiasco. Um, yeah, so... I'm really excited about this. And I think this smells like my Istanbul, hang on. I'm gonna grab it over here. It smells a lot, not exactly, but it, it smells a lot like my Istanbul candle from uh, Bath and Body Works. It's sparkling amber. Look at that, woo, love it. Um. So that was my first birch box. So thank you, Liz and Brian, if you're watching this. I really appreciate it. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And, um, and I'm just thrilled. It's my first subscription box. I've never done one before. And I'm just really happy. So don't forget the synchronicity and the matching so I can look really jaundiced. So, okay, you guys. Well, it is Saturday. It's the ninth. My sister's birthday is tomorrow. I just got done from taking the dogs for a walk. I told you that at the beginning. Got up, cleaned the kitchen, cleaned all the poopy, uh, did the dishes, got myself ready. Uh, now I've got to um, record my planner video 
And I won a gift from Lisa Rose, so I'm gonna record opening that. And then I'm gonna work on some Valentine pocket letters, probably for the rest of the day. It's three o'clock, so, and I've been up since five. Ah. Anyway, all right, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Thanks so much for watching, and I will just talk to you soon. And thanks again, Liz and Brian. I love you, and I miss you. Bye!